to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Brothers and sisters, please lift your right hand high above your head. Say this after me, before Jesus, the one whom you stand before, not Joshua Selman, the one who is greater, the one who called us. Say Jesus. Tonight, I declare that I love you with all my heart. I declare that you are the son of the living God. I declare that you are my king. You are my savior. You are my Lord. From tonight and forever, I declare my life is yours the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen father thank you for these blessed people who have come declaring your lordship over their lives I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace that keeps, may that grace keep them. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. And I declare over you that from tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Hang on for a minute. Please bring this little boy for me. There is a very little boy that I see here. I am so touched and honored. Come. This is a very, very little boy. I saw him kneeling. And joining in the prayer. Come, my dear son. Look at this. I don't know whose son this is. But what a miracle. I believe that this boy is representing the next generation of people who love Jesus in Ghana. I was so touched. While others were praying. How old are you? Eight. You are eight years. Eight. What is your name? Edwin. Edwin. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Listen to me. I pray that God will make you a mighty man of God. That someday you will stand like I'm standing now. And you will preach Jesus to the nations. That someday this young boy, I do not know him that God will announce him to the nations let me encourage the parents and the family of this boy train him well let him represent I believe that his coming is a prophetic message to Ghana that you will not lose your future in the name of Jesus and I pray for you I pray for you that you will love Jesus that you will do well in school that you will be an obedient young boy that God will find you like he found Samuel and you will be a mighty vessel in his hand. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Give him a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Now for all of you who are here, please may I request that you move this way to my right, which will be your left. The counselors will have a word with you very quickly and then you are back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go very quickly. Hallelujah. I have the honor one last time. Okay. Let's receive the offerings again like we did yesterday. It's time to give our offerings. I have the honor to receive our offerings one last time before we're done. Please package your offerings very quickly. And then I speak over them. This will be my final assignment. By the way, I was talking with his eminence while I sat down. And he did tell me that on Sunday, there will be... A prophetic impartation a tripartite impartation I think he was telling me 
uh, that is reflective of the teaching that I taught. By the way, if you were not in the morning, if you are not around in the morning to listen to my teaching, please do well to make sure that you get the materials and listen to it. I taught how the grace, especially to prosper, comes. That it comes upon your head, it comes upon your hand, it comes upon your feet. Your head, giving you illumination and insight. Your hand, blessing the works of your hand, responsible for productivity. And then your feet, guidance and direction. Hallelujah. I apologize if this is out of my jurisdiction, but every time I see them, I always want to appreciate them. I understand these gentlemen holding and women holding the veils represent some of the intercessory team in this ministry. May I please request that we honor these marvelous gentlemen and women. Please give them a big God bless you. I know that this is a ministry committed to prayer and I've had the honor of praying with some of them at the prayer mountain last I was here and they are amazing gentlemen and ladies, marvelous intercessors. I have seen them pray. I know they can pray. May God bless you, my brothers and sisters, that you've continued to fan the prayers, the ambers of the prayer altar, praying for his imminence, praying for this ministry and for the program of God. You will not fall, you will not fail, you will not falter in the name of Jesus. Are you ready with your seats? Please let me request one last time that you rise so that we speak a blessing upon our giving and then my assignment is done over the beautiful nation of Ghana. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word that you have brought. Thank you for the miracles, the healings. Thank you for the deliverances. Thank you for speaking to our concerns. Thank you for helping us understand the mystery and the dynamics of open doors. Thank you for the marvelous testimonies that follow even after tonight. Father, I bring before you your people alongside their givings. I pray in the name of Jesus that you accept their hearts first and then their givings. Whether given physically or given electronically, whether on ground here on site or by way of the internet. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your seeds that my God will bring multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ. May you never go down, even financially, as a result of your giving. May God raise men, even men that matter, to help you rise, to help you be, to be established in life and destiny. I rebuke the devourer for your sake. There shall be no loss for you. That when men say Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos, we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed, that is going to set you on course, that is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.